Chateau Grillet is a wine growing AOC in the northern Rhone wine region of France, near Vienne, which produces white wine from Viognier grapes. The whole appellation, which is only 3.8 hectares .4 acres in size, is owned by a single winery, Chateau Grillet. The appellation was officially created in 1936. Chateau Grillet AOC is effectively an enclave of the Condru appellation, which also produces Viognier only white wines. These appellations are located just south of Vienne in the northern part of the Rhone Valley. The production of white wine in the Rhone region is relatively small compared to the red wines. Condru and Chateau Grillet are the only appellations in northern Rhone that are exclusively white wine appellations. The situation of an AOC or other official wine designation owned by a single estate is a situation known as a monopole. There are several other monopole estates in France including Romanet Conti, La Tache, La Romanet, Clos de Tarte, and Clos de la Coulée de Serrent. The Nairet Gachet family acquired the Chateau Grillet estate in 1830, and the family retained ownership until the estate was purchased by French billionaire François Pinault in 2011. Today, Isabelle Barreton manages the production and sale of the estate's single wine, Vin Blanc de Chateau Grillet. Only 10,000 bottles are produced each year. The estate also produces two brandies, Fine du Chateau Grillet and Marc du Chateau Grillet. The former is distilled from the Chateau Grillet wine while the latter is a pumice brandy. The vineyards stretch over two communes, Saint-Michel-sur-Rhône and Varon. The vines are situated in terraces on steep granite cliffs surrounding the estate where the soil is lighter and more fragmented than in the Condru AOC. The slopes are shaped in the form of a natural amphitheater with south-southeastern sun exposure. The estate's vines average 40 years of age, and as a result produce very low yields. The slim brown bottles of Chateau Grillet are easily recognized and are used by no other French winery. Until 1987, 70 centiliter bottles were used, but 75 centiliters bottles have been used since. <inaudible> Vineyard Chateau Grillet is one of the smallest appellations in France, but the area under vine expanded in the 1970s and 1980s the era when Rhone wines started to see an increase in demand, from 1.7 hectares .2 acres in 1971, to 2.3 hectares .7 acres in 1977, 3.0 hectares .4 acres in 1982 and 3.8 hectares .4 acres in 1991, which has remained the vineyard area until at least 2005. This was achieved by actually planting the full area within the Appalachian border, and this is now practically fully planted to vines. Chateau Grillet is sometimes erroneously claimed to be the smallest appellation in France, which is incorrect since several Burgundy Grand Cru appellations are smaller. At the start of the 1970s expansion, Chateau Grillet was actually of the same size as Romanet Conti, but its neighbor La Romanet is only of half as large, or 0.85 hectares (2.1 acres). Topic: <laughs> Wine style. Chateau Grillet is by tradition a wine which is intended to be drunk with some maturity, often around 10 years or more from the vintage year. This style has been kept by the Appalachian's single producer and sets Chateau Grillet apart from the Condru wines from most producers, or indeed almost all wines produced from Viognier grapes, which are styled to be drunk fairly young and often aims more for opulence. Aromas present in a good vintage Chateau Grillet is typically apricot, truffle, and honey on the nose, and apricot, orange, and tangerine on the palate. More floral aromas are present on the nose with some aging, typically eight years or more. The fruit aromas associated with Chateau Grillet are therefore somewhat different than from those typically found in Condru, where pear is often found. Chateau Grillet sellers its wines for at least 24 months in a combination of new and old oak barriques. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Appellation regulations. The Chateau Grillet AOC can only be used for still white wines made from Viognier. The planting density must be at least 8,000 vines per hectare, and the base yield is 37 hectolitre per hectare. 
The grape must reach a maturity giving at least 178 grams L sugar in the must, corresponding to 10.5% potential alcohol, and the finished wines must have at least 11.5% alcohol by volume, but no more than 14% after any chaptalization. The wines must be dry, with a maximum of 4 grams per liter of sugar. <laughs> 